What's up, YouTube? El Zorco here again. We are back again with my boy, Fernando. Now, Fernando, you normally don't join us for Yu-Gi-Oh!, but anything that has to do with classic sets, you're always going to be here. Yeah. Most of the time, yeah, anyway. I, I can make it, yeah. yeah. He, he missed our Metal Raiders one just because I, I was busy and he was busy during that yeah. time, so we didn't get a chance to record. But Fernando, we're opening up Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. Uh, guys, there is no giveaway again for this one. Uh, we do have another box we're going to open up another day, and we will give something away for that one, I promise. But, uh, Fernando, we get all uh, six of uh, OG packs, so um, reprints, obviously. Blood is White Dragon, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos. And then you get promos, and one of those promos will be a quarter century rare. So I think that's a pretty bad deal. I think that's actually pretty good. And I love that they put them in this instead of a giant ridiculously oh, yeah. oversized box because the last time they did a legendary collection the box was so huge and i think the price tag on it was like 40 dollars just because of the ridiculous size of the box all the shipping yeah costs. it's like we don't need that stuff you guys we make it simple yeah just keep it super simple easy peasy lemon squeezy you know japanesey super cheesy everything in the everything in the book Oh no, we, we know what our quarter century rare is going to be one of the Egyptian gods. I can't tell the color. I think the Winged Dragon over Ra. Damn it. All right, whatever, guys. Well, we got ruined. Uh, Obelisk, the Tormentor. Slifer, the Sky, the Executive Producer. <laughs> <laughs> the Winged Dragon of Ra. Mega Ultra Chicken. Blood's White Dragon. Uh, the, uh, the Tablet Artwork. Dark Magician, the Tablet Artwork, which these are probably some of my least favorite artworks. Yeah. Red Eyes, Black Dragon, and Winged Dragon of Rock, Quarter Century Rare. I mean, this doesn't look bad. Yeah, some of you might wonder, but oh no, how do I tell it apart from Starlight? Because it has 20, the 25th stamped on there, genius. That's how. I, I swear, that's like the most common question people ask. Like, oh my god, but how am I going to tell it apart? <laughs> it has a t the stamp on there. 25th anniversary. There you go. Now you know where to look. There you go. You graduated. And we are using uh, Pokemon sleeves because we do not have any Pokemon. So. Yeah, but we'll make sure to give them the proper... Yeah, Fernando, if you can sleeve these up for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, See, thank you. While you get ready, you can go ahead. Yeah, we are getting into this, guys. So we are opening up uh, Blue Eyes, Legend of Blue Eyes. The set everybody grew up with. Everybody's probably shelled out the most money on trying to get a Blue Eyes from here. I know I shelled out quite a bit as a kid. You know. Yeah, beg your parents to buy you. Yeah, or, or if you're Mexican like us and you would go to the, the remate, you know, you <laughs> your parents would give you five bucks or ten bucks and you spend it all on Yu-Gi-Oh packs and you you didn't know that the remate would scale the pack, so you would always get yeah, terrible pulls. A yeah. oh, spirit of the harp. Oh, so nothing, guys. Skull red bird, man. Uh, man dude. Uh, uh, honestly, guys, I'm pretty sure the remate did that. So Fernando, now we open up your favorite. Oh, let's go. Metal let's raider. Something's gonna come out of this one. Huh? A summon skull or a barrel dragon, maybe. But. But yeah, guys, if you ever buy it, bought packs from the Remate, you, you could buy 10 and you'll get nothing because they scale them there. And then they take out the good card and then sell it to you. Like, for like three times what it's actually worth. Fake trap. So nothing from here, Fernando. I apologize. Tribute to the Doomed. I mean, um... Oh, wait, no, we did get something. I told you. Super rare. I, told I didn't you. notice it. My bad. My bad. Oh my <laughs> Tribute god. to the doom. I. My bad. My bad. Okay. Okay, Fernando. Good job. You're set one. Oh my god. I hope I didn't miss anything from there. Oh, you I, go back I, got, I got to look again, guys. Maybe I missed something. Uh, okay, no. Nothing. False alarm. It's just. Okay, Fernando's favorite set. Actually, you see, already. You use this card a lot too. Oh yeah, you did right. Yeah. You used it for to get um for your Dark Paladin deck. Yeah. Uh, so guys, uh, Pharaoh Servant is next. I think you get a Thousand Eyes Restrict from here, maybe. Uh, Steel Ogre Grotto number two, Enchanted Javelin. Um, this uh, one you would use in a Fire Princess deck, I think. A uh, Spike Bot. Uh, Time Seal. Oh my God, a Skull Invitation. This is a pretty, um, pretty uh. Decent card for a burn deck. Oh yeah. Uh, Island turtle. Ooh. Uh, 
insect imitation, okay. light of intervention, Ooh. and respect play, or pay, something like that. Dark Crisis, guys. Imagine if we pull Exodia Necros from here. Oh, we have never pulled an Exodia Necros from Dark Ever, Crisis. Right? No, I've pulled almost everything there is to pull from Dark Crisis. Never Exodia Necros. Oh, this guy looks so sick, dude. Uh, Mephist, the Infernal General. Oh my god, a super rare Dark Flare Knight. Let's go, mm. man. Man, two supers already, dude. And guys, back in the day, a super was like, oh my god, it was like the end of the world if you got one. It was amazing. Frozen Soul. Now, on to my favorite set. Uh, Magic Ruler. Yes, it's called Spell Ruler, but when it first came out, it was called Magic Ruler. And this is my favorite set, you guys, because this is when the game really started to get really competitive uh, with the release of um, Magic Ruler. So this is my, one of my favorite sets of all time, which I know that's probably like, I'm probably in the minority there. I know most people like Metal Raiders. Giant Rat, I would, oh my God, Mystical Space Typhoon. Okay, we gotta that <laughs> Ultra Rare Mystical Space, <laughs> my favorite set coming in clutch, you guys. There you go, man. Heart of the cards, man. Dude. I mean, that's always gonna be a staple. You cannot tell me. If you didn't run MST, you weren't competitive. Same with uh, Mirror Force. We don't run Mirror Force, we're competitive. Yeah, I think you would normally, the standard would usually be two Mystical Space Typhoon. Um, you would normally. You would normally not want to run Heavy Storm if you're running like a burn deck or a stall deck because you don't want to destroy your own things. Uh, Ma Mataza the Zapper. This is, this is Invasion of Chaos, Ojama Delta. So nothing from Invasion of Chaos. So that's a little lame. I was kind of hoping we'd at least get like Chaos Sampler or at least Yada Garasu, you know? But yeah, guys, Invasion of Chaos is uh, what started uh, the ban list. Um, because that Yada Lot combo would screw you over. But anyways, guys, uh, let's go through our rundown. Here comes all the uh, promotions. Yep. The Quarter Century uh, Wing Dragon of Ra. And then our Tribute to the Doom, which came in uh, Metal Raiders. Yep. Uh, Dark Flare in uh, Dark Crisis. And MST coming in close from my favorite set, you guys. And that is it for this video, guys. As always, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, turn on notifications, and I will see you all in the next one. Laters. Bye.